when referring to aerobic exercise, aerobic exercise is good. It's good. It allows you to burn fat instead of sugar. And you need fat, well you need sugar for your brain to work. Your, your brain basically um, burns sugar, your brain works on sugar, but you need you need fat also, of course, um, because the brain is made out of fat. But if you can burn fat and metabolize fat properly, you end up having two and a half times more energy. So aerobic gives you two and a half times more energy. than anaerobic. Exercise, okay? Than anaerobic exercise. So this is really exercise we're talking about. So I think anaerobic is the way to go. Um, Aerobic exercise helps to build up tissue, strengthens the adrenal glands, and it helps the bones, joints, and ligaments to be healthy without breaking down tissue, okay? So I would, I, you know, obviously, you know, aerobic exercise is the way to go. And uh, I can also refer to uh, Dr. Mapitone's book if I want. Anaerobic exercise. Increases cortisol levels. As you remember, cortisol is the hormone that breaks down tissue. It breaks down protein. It also breaks down fat, but mainly protein, sugars, and complex carbohydrates, and it raises blood sugar. And that's not, that's not cool. It ain't cool to raise blood sugar. When you raise blood sugar, you're encouraging disease states like diabetes and heart disease and circulatory problems like impotence and uh, cystitis and Crohn's disease and celiac's disease. Not, not the kind of things that you want to be experiencing in your life. So, breaks down lean, healthy muscle tissue. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention Dr. Philip Maffetone is a professional applied kinesiologist. And he has a website, I can't remember exactly what it is, I think it might be philipmaffetone.com, but you can do a search on Google or on the internet for that. So anaerobic exercises, it increases cortisol levels, it breaks down lean healthy muscle tissue, increases pain, and inflammation. in the body.
body. Okay. Doesn't sound so good. Let's see if Philip Maffetone says anything else about it. Um, he says a lot. I mean, he says a whole lot, but I'm just trying to find some good stuff for you. We can categorize our, categorize our stress levels as three types of stress, structural, chemical, and emotional. Chemical includes poor nutrition, dehydration, and too much caffeine. Um, so he, he, he goes on and on and on and on and on about ways to um, increase your uh, aerobic activity and decrease your anaerobic activity through exercise. I'm going to be going over that with you in a minute. The best way is when you exercise, keep your heart rate at a good, healthy, target heart rate. Um, let's see. So anaerobic exercise, also stresses the adrenal 